Hey guys, Stab in the Eye here. The lock I have today is the Master Lock 570. It's the fifth lock off my progressive lock list. This one is where you're starting to get into a lot more spools and security pins. This is a five pin lock that contains four spools and one standard pin. Here's a shot of the key. Okay. Now I'm going to first start off with bottom of the keyway tension and a standard hook in 25 thousandths and I'm going to try to single pin pick it. This is also a dead core lock. One, two. I think it's just pin two. There we are. And we're open. I'm going to lock this back up. Next I'm going to try zipping it open. Every now and then I can get it to zip open, but if we can't get it, that's not a big deal. Let's see what we can do. Let's just try resetting it and see. Here we are. And we're open. Next thing I'm going to try to do is rock it open. On this keyway, when you use bottom of the keyway tension, not a whole lot of room for raking. I'm going to see if I can rock it open with this. And we're open. Show you the key that works perfectly. The retaining pen on the core is present. Also, one interesting thing on this lock this is the first lock we've had that has a ball bearing. And so, this lock will not be shimmed. So this has been the Master Lock number 570. It's a great lock for someone getting into security pens. I feel that this lock really has a heightened sense of feel for which pen's binding. And it's a really great lock for you to start getting a better grasp on what a binding pen feels like versus a set pen. It's got four spools, which can really help you try to learn how to fight, off, fight through those. Well, thank you guys for checking out the video, and I hope you have a great day.